Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we're going to look at Amazon FSx for Windows and Amazon FSx for Lustre. So let's start with Amazon FSx for Windows File Server. It basically provides a fully managed native Microsoft Windows file system so you can easily move your Windows-based applications that require file storage to AWS and Amazon FSx is built on Windows Server. So essentially, it's a Windows file server, um, and that's really all it is. Uh, and it's really designed for use with Microsoft applications. So things like SQL Server, Active Directory, IIS, um, SharePoint, etc. So how is it different to EFS? Well, Windows FSx is a managed uh, Windows server that runs Windows server message blocks, so SMB-based file services. Um, it's designed for Windows applications, like I just said, or designed for Microsoft applications. Uh, and it supports AD users, access control lists, groups, and security policies, along with distributed file system namespaces, DFS namespaces, and replication. So if you have an exam question that's asking what storage you should choose, and um, it's SMB-based, server message block-based, then you're going to go for Windows FSx um, because EFS is not SMB-based. EFS is a managed NAS filer for EC2 instances, and it's based on the network file system uh, protocol, NFS version 4, so NFS version 4 for EFS. And it was one of the first network file sharing protocols native to Unix and Linux. And Amazon do not support um, uh, EC2 instances that are running Windows to connect to EFS. It's Linux only. So it's pretty simple. When would you choose Windows? Um, FSx is if you need SMB-based um, file services, if you're running Microsoft applications. You choose EFS if you are doing uh, Linux and you need a shared storage. And then we're moving on to Amazon FSx for Lustre. This is a fully managed file system that's optimized for compute intensive workloads such as high performance computing, machine learning, media and data processing workflows, and electronic design automation or EDA. Now with Amazon FSx, you can launch and run Lustre file systems that can um, process of massive data sets, up to hundreds of gigabytes per second of throughput, millions of IOPS and sub millisecond latencies. So again, um, where you would choose this is if you're doing exactly that. If you're processing large data sets with up to hundreds of, of gigabits per second and you need um, that kind of throughput or millions of IOPS or sub millisecond latencies. So think basically big data machine learning, high performance computing, et cetera, et cetera. That's when you'd use Amazon FSx for Lustre. You'd use Amazon FSx for Windows when you're using Windows applications. And if you just need shared storage for Linux, you would use EFS. So how is Lustre FSx different to EFS? Well, specifically designed for processing workloads such as machine learning, high performance compute, video processing, financial monitoring, and electronic design automation. And lets you launch and run a file system that provides sub millisecond access to your data and allows you to read and write data of speeds of up to hundreds of gigabits per second of throughput and millions of IOPS. Whereas EFS, as like I said before, is a managed NAS filer, um, it's running the network file system version 4 protocol and it's one of the first network file sharing protocols that was native to Unix and Linux. So onto my exam tips. In the exam, you're going to be given a whole bunch of different scenarios and asked to choose whether you should be using EFS, FSx for Windows, and FSx for Lustre. EFS, you use this when you need distributed, highly resilient storage for Linux in instances and Linux-based applications. Amazon FSx for Windows is when you need centralized storage for Windows-based applications such as SharePoint, SQL Server, Workspaces, IIS web server, or any other native Microsoft application. And if you see the phrase SMB, you need SMB storage, then you're going to use Amazon FSx for Windows. And then finally, if you're doing big data, um, so you want to look at Amazon FSx for Lustre. Um, so this is when you need high speed, high capacity distributed storage. This will be for applications that do high performance compute financial modeling, etc. Remember that, that FSx for Lustre can store data directly on S3 as well. So that is it for this lecture, everyone. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, feel free to move on to the next lecture. Thank you.